Let's try to remember uh, something about the concept of work from mechanics. You've already taken this in physics 111. So let's say you have uh, someone here holding a rope and the rope goes over a pulley and there's a mass here attached to the rope. This is the initial position of the mass and then they drop the mass through some distance d and which reaches the final position over here and uh, we want the question is asking what is the work done by gravity as the mass goes from this position to this position so the direction of motion is downwards well uh, if you remember the from your mechanics course the work is mg times d the force times the distance okay, what if the situation is reversed what if the initial position is this one and the final position is this one so the person is pulling the rope up so the mass goes from this position to this position and we still want the work done by gravity now gravity is acting downwards and the direction of motion in this case is upwards so they're opposite each other and so if you remember from mechanics you get a minus sign in this case you have minus mgd Okay, how much work is done by gravity in this case? You have an inclined plane with an angle theta and the block starts out at this initial position and it ends up at this final position. So the direction of motion is downwards and the gravity is acting downwards always. What's the work done by the, gravi the force of gravity during this motion? Well, you get mg sine theta which gives you the component of the force in this direction and then you multiply by the distance and the distance the total distance is d that's been moved so you get mg sine theta times d okay what if the situation is reversed what if you throw the block up initially with some speed so that it can go up the, the inclined plane and reach some final position over here what's the work done by gravity during this motion minus mg sine theta times d and this minus sign is because the direction of the force direction is opposite the direction of the motion. Okay, what about this case? If you have a horizontal table and the mass is being pushed from initial position to the final position on the horizontal table, and we were asking for the work done by gravity. So the work done by gravity will be zero. Okay, so let's look at the, the general case. What if you have a constant force and the constant force is acting on the block at some angle theta. The angle is the same during the whole motion and the force is constant during the whole motion and you start from position one and you end up position two. What's the work done by this constant force? So you get the component of the force in the direction of motion, Fc, and you multiply this fc times the distance and this the component of the force could be positive it could be negative depending on the angle that the force is acting so we could write this as f cosine theta f cosine theta is the component of the force like that and you multiply by the distance d so you get the force the component of the force in the direction of motion times the distance and that's the work we can always write um, f cosine theta. If you notice this, you have something times something times cosine of the angle between them. So this reminds you about the dot product. So you can write also the work as the dot product between the force and the displacement vector from the initial to the final position. So if the vector r12 points from point 1 to point 2 and the force is a vector, then if you get the dot product between the force and the displacement vector, that's what gives you the work and if you go back then to all the examples we showed before you can by applying this rule f dot d dot dotted into the displacement between the two positions for the constant force case at least that we've all these problems we've had the force was constant you can see how the answers give you the right answers that you got with the correct signs when the when the when the block was horizontal and you were getting the work due to gravity the angle was 90 degrees so the, the dot product goes and when the block is moving in the same direction of the force or opposite direction of the force 
the dot product gives you the correct sign for the work.